Hello, Bodacious community. I've got some big news to share with you today about my service dog application. I have heard back from the agency. And if you haven't subscribed, this will be a great time to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button to join me on my journey for travel and the new journey about the service dog. Now, some of you may remember when I put this application in of the mail just a few weeks ago. Today is a really big day. I'm going to the post office to mail my service dog application. Last night, I got this message in my email. So the answer is positive. I am getting another service dog, but I still have a few hoops to jump through, primarily fundraising. But a lot of you have asked, what is the process and how do I get a service dog? And just in general, what you go through. So we're gonna talk about what I've gone through so far with this agency to be able to get a service dog. The first step in getting a service dog begins with a trip to the doctor to talk with your doctor about whether or not you have a disability that qualifies you for a service dog. The ADA, which is the Americans with Disabilities Act, defines a service dog as dogs that are individually trained to do work or perform tasks for people with disabilities. So step one is to begin at the doctor's office. Step two is to decide if you want to go through an agency, which is what I'm doing now, or if you want to go the owner trained route. Now this is Tomlin. He was my first service dog. With him, we went owner trained, which means we found Tomlin. And then we worked with three different trainers to make him the incredible service dog that he was. And that included one husband and wife team. Tomlin passed away in March, leaving me not just with a giant hole in my heart, but the need for another service dog. So my husband and I did some talking and we decided that the best thing for us to do would be to go to an agency for a fully trained service dog. I looked online and I found a lot of organizations promising some really great animals, but I didn't see a lot of reviews to tell me how satisfied the owners were with their dogs. So I started talking to other service dog owners and right in our bodacious community was Tanya Lambert. She was happy to tell me how pleased she is with her dog and directed me to CARES out in Kansas. I will tell you that the agencies that I looked at, a lot of them have very similar processes. So I need to go ahead and have that conversation with my doctor. Well, I got that done. Well, let's go get lunch. So before I ever applied, I knew to go ahead and get the doctor visit out of the way and I identified three friends and colleagues who were willing to write letters of reference for me to include with the applications. Next, you just fill out the application, put the fee and other information with it, drop it in the mail and wait to hear back. Then the work begins. So how much does a service dog cost and where does fundraising factor into the process? Well, that's where I am right now. The dog is $5,000, plus I've got some other miscellaneous expenses and travel costs because every agency and program wants you to spend between one to two weeks with them learning how to be a service dog handler and to work with your dog. Now, in my case, those costs include going from Virginia to Kansas City. Oh, I've got to factor all of that in. My total costs look like an estimate of between 75 to 7,800, depending on how much gas increases. And for me, that's going to be putting together a lot of car washes, bake sales, yard sales, jewelry sales, auctions, and any other fundraiser I can think of. You can also help any donations or gifts through Patreon. I'm putting those all toward the service dog as well as any sales through my Amazon affiliate link where I earn a tiny commission from sales generated through that link. It doesn't cost you any more than it normally would to buy something off of Amazon. It's just something that Amazon does. So it's a great way to support this channel for free. And one of the best ways to support this channel is going to be subscribe if you haven't already done so and share it with your friends on social media. 
because that helps the channel to grow. And remember, it is always hashtag be bodacious. And that means you're not going to let life get in the way of living. Thank you for watching and sh thank you for sharing this with your friends. And hey, don't forget to check out the videos that are popping up on the end screens right now. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.